Welcome back everybody. This is um, this is plumbing week, I guess you can call it. We are going to install this here Viega. I think I'm saying that correctly. Let me see. Let me turn you guys around. So we are going to install the Viega mana block. This is what it looks like here. Looks like it's a pretty simple, pretty simple install. I've spared you guys the monotony of figuring out all the details of where it's going to go. But I'm going to mount it up here, and then there's the bottom mount. So if you look on if you look on um, Viega's website, they have installation. They have um, installation for um, just the mana block, so you didn't have to buy the uh, mounting straps to it. So that's what I opted to do. Um, so we got this three quarter inch pieces of plywood, mount it flush. And then they give you this here template. After you find two of your holes, they give you this template that you go through and you put it up there like so. It's hard to do this with one hand and show you guys. But you put it up there and uh, you nail in, in each center of that, in the center of each one of those holes and then you come back and you drill them out. So. That's that, and uh, I'll put you guys on time last, just, just so you guys can see what's going on. We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Make it someday Nothing's gonna get in our way We will be the biggest band in town mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be there We're taking our shot Bring what you got Alright guys, uh, end of day one We got we got the uh, mana block installed. We have it labeled so I know what is what. We have everything labeled. And I did start, I did start um, running the cable or running the, the, uh, the pecs. Um, I got my holes in there, all the way down. I run the, the, I have four cold and three hot going to the master. They're gonna run down to this section here. It's gonna turn, and it's gonna go straight down to the end there. I have a big beam in the middle. In the middle, it's running about right here somewhere. So, I'm going to guess it's going to be over here somewhere. Somewhere right in there is a beam. So, I think what I'm going to do is run it under and then have it come up somewhere in the wall and then shoot over for whatever it needs to, to, uh, to supply there. So far, so good. Um, ain't done no crimping, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, just trying to figure out how we want it to run the the actual pipe itself. All right, that's it for me for today, and uh, I'll have you guys back out here on time lapse in the morning. Going all the way to the top. 
when we're backstage We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night Quit my job Never wanna have no boss I just wanna play my rock and roll Like they do on the radio Tommy's got brand new drums And I still have my old guitar And John said this next song's gonna be real good If you know what I mean Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be there We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We're playing loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night We got the mana block in. If you guys can see that, we have um, all the all the bathrooms, all the um, the washroom, the laundry room, the bathrooms. Everything's ran. I still have to do the kitchen. Kitchen, I'm going to run up and over. We're not sure where the uh, sink's going to go, so that's why I haven't ran that. But let me turn you around so you guys can get a look at it. So that is the Viega mana block. We have our water supply coming in. And that's feeding water to all these guys here. Then we have water supply going out to the hot water heater hot water coming back in feeding water to all these guys we did uh, this is uh, the organized chaos for for all that right there's where my tankless hot water heater will be it's going to go out the rim joist there and then hit some copper pipe and come up to the exterior where the hot water tank will be and then move back up obviously that's your your uh, washer hot and cold and then your sink hot and cold and then if you can see between there that's going to be for the shower I haven't got my mixing valves yet so I haven't put that in and then here we have all the colds going to the master. We have all the hots going to the master. And then uh, that big pipe there, that's going to be for the main coming in. The main coming in the house comes in there. Right there. And I got it going out to the garage. And it's going to go through a whole house filtration and then a uh, soft water system for the house. So I spaced that accordingly. So in the future, if we ever do decide to put one of those in, I have enough room within that area to go ahead and do that. All my lines for the 
cold run together. All my lines for the hot run together. They'll all be insulated. And then let's go into the master here. Uh, we're trying to figure out flooring. I think we're going to go something, something like that. We don't know. Something. Anyways, so you have your hot and cold coming out for the two sinks. You have your cold water coming out for your pooper. And then our shower will be here. If you guys were wondering, this is an old vent stack. I have not yet put the vents on the plumbing system. I will be cutting that off up there after we take out all that insulation and everything and hooking the master to that vent stack there. Obviously that one will go away. That's for their old shower. This is where our shower will be at. The shower head will be on that side. Here's the hot and cold coming in for that. We'll put it right here. I have a, a mixing valve here. And that way you're not getting wet when you turn the shower on. I haven't, uh, I haven't tested the whole system yet. We're going to wait until the... Uh, the filtration part comes. I don't know why we can we can test it right now, but the wife wants to uh, wait to get the uh, the whole house filtration on there. So just because just so if there's anything in the lines that haven't been used in the house area for so long that it gets caught in that system and doesn't go into our mantle block system there and I'll test it we got everything's got copper stub outs on it minus the showers um, all in all my thoughts on this here uh, Viega mana block these things are supposed to be really good you never have to turn off um, your house you never have to turn off the main if there's a problem say with the washer and dryer I can come right here and look for the hot on the washer or where's the cold master bath oh cold so I can come right here use this little key and turn that off say if there's a problem with the hot water I can turn that off address the hot water fix it turn it back on there and the whole house isn't um, interrupted with turning the water off I thought that was pretty pretty cool plus it's a home run system so each fixture has one line one line no 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 fittings besides the one that's hooking <clears throat> going from PEX to brass and so far, I mean, I haven't had any problems. I got it hooked up to the, the main, and it's with a ball valve, so I got that shut off coming to the house so we could have water in our RV. But hopefully, hopefully uh, we don't have any problems. We'll be testing it as soon as, as soon as the stuff comes, we'll test it. But yeah. Come along. I'm going to do some gas lines next. Get those stubbed out. Pressure test those. And uh, get some termite treatment. Get some plastic put down for the, <clears throat> for the uh, vapor barrier. And then we can put the subfloors on. Can't wait to put the floors on. And then we can start addressing some of the wood rot around the house and start making some changes. Garden's doing good. Look at the garden.
Oops. 